All right, so today we're gonna make a turtle trap. Um, this is for when you wanna make turtle soup or you just wanna get those nasty turtles out of your pond. This is a very simple project. Um, it doesn't take a lot, but you do need to get certain supplies. So in order to make this, you're going to need a three inch PVC pipe. You're going to need four three inch 90 degree angles for that pipe. You are going to need some string or zip ties. Either one will work. You're going to need some mesh netting. Now, for this one, this netting came from just a laundry bag, and this came from an old screen door. Either one will work. Um, they're super easy to find, super easy to come by. You don't even have to usually buy them. You're going to need silicone sealant. You're going to need a drill with drill bits and you're going to need a piece of plywood. You're going to need a tape measure and a marker of some sort. You're going to need a hacksaw. And finally, though I don't have it here, you are going to need a skill saw. All right, once you've got everything you need, uh, we can get started. All right, so you can make this trap whatever size you want. Um, so I am limited based on the length of my PVC pipe. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever length of PVC pipe you have and you're going to cut it into four equal lengths. Okay, so now I got my four lengths of three inch pipe. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 90 degree angles and I'm just gonna stick it on the sides. Now, I'm not gonna use any kind of a pipe glue or anything because I just don't want to. I wanna be able to take this apart later on. I want it to be uh, fairly mobile and fairly collapsible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick these in here, but they're not gonna be watertight. So you gotta make sure that these are watertight. And in order to do that, I'm going to take my silicone sealant and I'm just gonna put a bead of it around all the connections here. That will keep all the water out and make sure that it floats like it should. So I'm just gonna put a little bead around each one. Okay, so I've got a bead around it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread it, spread it even with my finger so it gets a good seal in there. So that's the first connection, so now I'm just gonna go around and do that to all the others. Okay, so I got all the 90 degrees on and I put silicone sealant around them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my netting and I'm going to lay it across and then what you're gonna do is gonna, you're going to zip tie it onto your poles. So I've done this side, so you can see what it looks like. Um, so what you wanna do is you want to cut holes in your netting um, about every four to six inches, depending on the size of turtle you're going for. You're gonna cut holes in the netting, and then you're going to zip tie the zip ties through the netting and around the pole. So what you wanna make sure is that where the zip ties connect is on the outside of the pole, because if it's on the inside, the turtles will have something to grab and might be able to pull themselves out. And once you have all the zip ties on and your basket is complete, you're going to be ready to move on to the next step. So just to demonstrate what this looks like, um, I've already done that side, but I'm gonna take this side, and I'm just gonna take my knife, Right here, I'm gonna cut a little slash in the netting about an inch from the top so it still has something to grab. I'm gonna take my zip tie. Now, mine were pretty short so I had to connect two together. Um, if you get longer zip ties, it'll be a lot easier. Um, I'm gonna slip it through there. I'm gonna put it around the pole, just like that. And I'm going to connect it. So, it's really that simple. That's why uh, I think zip ties are a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing to use for this one. So once it's around there, I'm just gonna put it on there. I'm gonna tighten, tighten my zip tie down, just like that. There we go, so there's one. Um, so I've already done this side, and so now I'm just gonna work my way around and do this around the entire perimeter until I have a nice basket here that the turtles won't be able to escape from. All right, so once you've got your main frame put together, now you're gonna cut the wood um, that's gonna act as the ramp for the turtles to get up on it. So. Um, the sides of my square are 22.75 inches, so I'm just gonna cut four 22 inch pieces. So they're gonna be 22 inches long, and I'm just gonna make them like eight inches wide. It really doesn't matter exactly how wide they are, they just need to be wide enough that the turtle wants to get up on them. So anywhere from eight to 10 inches would be just about right. Okay, so now I got my four pieces of wood, so now I'm just gonna drill two holes in the top of each piece because I'm going to connect these to my trap with cable ties. Okay, so now that I have my four pieces of wood here and I've put the uh, netting on the inside of this, I'm simply going to zip tie these onto my uh, PVC pipe frame. 
So you want to make sure the wood is sitting up near the top here, um, but not too far over or the turtles are going to be able to grab it from the inside. So now this is what it should look like. So you just want to do that on all four sides. Okay, so once you've got all your ramps attached to all four sides, you're going to go around and cut off all of the extra tails from the cable ties because you don't want those all sticking up and getting in the way of everything. All right, so now your turtle trap is ready to go. So this is gonna float in the water and these ramps are gonna be up on the side. And for those of you who don't know, turtles always try to get to the top, the highest point on whatever they're sunning on. So when the turtles climb to the top, they're going to then slide off and into the center and then because this pipe is slippery, they won't be able to get out. So it's that simple. So let's go throw this in the pond and, uh, and see how it looks. All right, well, there you go. That's it set out in the pond. That's how you make a turtle trap. So, uh, if you found this useful, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.